1912 era, has, has a scrapbook. And, uh, and it has, I don't know the connection, I couldn't figure out the connection between the father and why he has Rube Goldberg's cartoon oh. next, and a cartoon by Tad Dorgan. Oh, yeah. um, and yeah. this one, which is really amazing to me. So this is 1911, so it's the first gift art from Harriman that, that ever, has ever shown up. It's written on stationery from the Onondaga, which is where Harriman was living in 1911, uh, hotel there. Oh, you Constance, oh, conceited cat, uh, sincerely yours, George Harriman. And one of the amazing things about this is, is there's this sort of transition time with Crazy Cat when it moves from becoming something into being something else, and especially with Crazy Space here. I'll uh, go into the next one. Um, so you first see that face, that cat face on um, on Harriman's character, the black boxers, uh, especially Sam Langford and then Jack Johnson when he was doing the cartoons about the controversy of boxing over the color line, which led to the 1910 fight between Jim Jeffries and Jack Johnson, a huge part of the development of Crazy Cat. So this is the, this is that cat face that that starts during those cartoons and goes on up into next into this 1911 Crazy Cat rag cover, which Harriman appears to have done. It appears to me that that was by Harriman, which was really strange because Crazy Cat just wasn't really that much of a thing in 1911. So it's always a mystery. But again, I'd really love seeing that face from Constance's drawing because there you have the Sam Langford, the Crazy Cat rag, and this Crazy Cat face during that time before it started to become the cat we know better next. Um, so one other discovery was uh, I drove my daughter up to Seattle to go to college in August and drove back to New Orleans um, and stopped on the way to see you. Saw, you met Lola Larson, who is Jack Roach's daughter, Al Roach's niece. Um, her sister, Barbara Bedwell, lives uh, in Northern California. And I, have, I interviewed both of them. They both had traveled with George Harriman to Arizona with their dad and told me all stories about singing Ragtime Cowboy Joe all the way from California to Arizona. And, I told about Harriman having a migraine and they had to stop everything for about a week when he went to a room and, and recovered. Um, so, so Barbara Bedwell's very old now and, and her daughter was there and she said, you know, we have this envelope from Harriman. And she brought out that envelope and it was a total antiques roadshow moment. I got to say, you know, there's something in this envelope. <laughs> and, and they, they had not opened it, I think, since. This was for her, her wedding uh, with uh, Jimmy Bedwell. Uh, they were Irish, so that's the that's the envelope there, and I get to pull this out and say, you know, this is this is in there, and this is I think the last gift art. This was done really just a few months before uh, before Harriman died. Old Hunk Harriman, uh, uh, and then Four Leaf Clover, Barbara Plus Jim Equals Happiness. I know my arithmetic. It's just this 